What's going on everybody? Thank you guys for tuning in to another digestive product review video. I was very pleased with the feedback I got from the last one, so thank you guys very much for those of you who tuned in, tuned in and hopefully you learned a thing or two. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a probiotic supplement and specifically a product from Thorn Research called Florasport 20B. And it's actually, this is a product that was specifically made and more so specifically studied to help reduce the risk of what's called upper respiratory tract infections and specifically in those adults that are physically active. And what that means is that this product, the particular bacterial species and specific strains have been studied in physically active individuals. That way the claims that Thorne is able to make on the box are validated in different studies. The first portion of this product that we're gonna talk about is the probiotic strain Bifidobacterium lactis BI04. Now let's go ahead and, and break down kind of what that whole phrase means. So Bifidobacterium is the genius from which, or the genius from which this bacteria comes from. Lactis is the species. And then this is very important now, the strain is BI04. It is very important that when you're looking for a probiotic product that it has the specific strain designated at the end and that'll be by a series of letters and numbers. Because if you were to look at another product and it said Bifidobacterium lactis and that's all it said, those two products are not the same thing even though they both have the same genius and species. That's like saying humans and apes are the same thing. Because we come from the same lineage, but that doesn't mean that we function the same. So the probiotic strain gives each different probiotic its specific phenotype or the method by which it functions. So in one study, Bifidobacterium lactis BIO4 at a dose of around 2 billion CFU, which serves 5 billion CFU in this product, so that's good to see, at a dose of 2 billion CFU, actually was able to reduce the risk of upper respiratory tract infections by upwards of 27% in physic physically active males. Again, very important that the dosage that was studied, two billion CFUs, they have two and a half times is at five billion CFUs, so that's a win for the product. Next up, we have Bifidobacterium lactis, BI07. And just like I previously stated, same genius, same species, but different strain. So let me ask you a question. Are these the same probiotic? <laughs> If you said no, you get a free box of that. Just kidding, not sponsored by them yet. You hear that thorn? I'm waiting for you. This specific strain has been studied for its effects to improve different aspects of white blood cells. Specifically, it's been shown to improve certain activity of macrophages, which is a class of white blood cells that kind of help to clean up debris associated with inflammation. But outside of that, there really isn't too much literature on BI07 by itself. And in that study I just referred to, it was at a dose of 1 billion CFU. And again, in this product, it's at a dose of 5 billion CFU. Not too much to take away from BI07 individually. Next up, we have Lactobacillus acephidophilus, NCFM. And this probiotic is actually, this strain has been studied a lot for those with IBS and has kind of some mixed reviews. Some studies show it helps, some studies show it's no different than just taking placebo. But again, the fact that this specific strain has been studied amongst the four to help reduce the risk of upper respiratory tract infections in athletes is the main reason that it's being put in here. But for those of you who are thinking about taking it or have taken it, maybe you've noticed a change in stool consistency or levels of gas or bloating or abdominal pain. So just something to keep in mind. A strain Lactobacillus paracasei LPC 37, I wasn't able to find much research on that one strain used specifically, but again, when used with the other four strains in this product, there's a lot of, there's good evidence for a reduction of upper respiratory tract infection risk. These four strains added together have also been studied to help with diarrhea in those with what's called a Clostridium difficile infection. They didn't really help with the eradication of that particular pathogenic bacteria, but it did help with diarrhea, which is one of the main symptoms 
associated with having C. diff. So again, being that this product is called Flora Sport, to me that kind of says that the reason why Florin did this was kind of for the athletic or the kind of exercise enthusiast. Not saying it can't work in people that don't, but maybe that was one of the primary drivers behind this product. But again, guys, these four strains have good evidence to back up for the reduction of that in active individuals. Some benefits shown for reduction in gas and bloating associated with either C. diff infections for diarrhea or the gas and bloating for people with constipation, predominant IBS. But again, everyone's individual responses to products is vastly different. So make sure to speak with your physician or a healthcare provider before starting to institute any kind of probiotics. And I hope you guys found this video informative. Make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the video if you're new, maybe drop a comment if you want to get a good discussion going. And as always guys, trust in your gut.